right, so what's your name, homie? They call me Suave. Suave? Yes. How old are you? I'm 45 years old, man. Where are you from? I'm from the city called Phoenix. Okay. What's your current situation? You homeless right now? Yes, I am very, uh, right now I am at this time because I don't got a job and everything. So right now I'm looking, I'm seeking for a job. And so as soon as I get sick for a job, I'm, I'm gonna get it together right there. I'm start saving up. I mean, that's it. That's good, bro. Um, how did you end up out here in the calles? I ended up out here, well, I ended up right here in the calles when, when I started getting locked up. When I started getting locked up and then I was on my own right as soon as I got out. And it was pretty hard for me to, to, to set things all together, you know what I mean? Yeah. And um, now I'm just seeking to get a job now and then I'm gonna pull it through. Cause I know, I know I'm gonna do good. Cause now I know how it is to, to be facing that kind of problem, you know what I mean? So life is nothing to be joking around. So I mean, I'm already old, you know, I can fuck around. And I just gotta pull it through and believe in God, that's it. Just, just have God in your side, that's all. That's all you need. You said you did some time in jail? You, you did some time in prison? Yeah, for up in the house. How long you know? were you locked up for? Basically, just um, temporarily, like, like two and a half, three and a half. Please, that, that it was so simple. Please, I couldn't believe that I'll take, please that people would try to take it to trial. And I wasn't that crazy enough to be wasting my time like that. Just want to hurry up and get out, you know I mean? And do good, you know, and just be there for the familia, that's yeah. it. No. So you did two, three years in jail? Yeah. In prison? Yeah. But it, was it, it like, um, was it dangerous in there? How, how was it in there? Oh man, there's nothing, nothing out here. It's better be out here than, than be in there. I'm gonna tell you, cause we ain't no damn, um, we ain't no animals. You know, we're human beings. So we gotta be smarter than that. Yeah. Is it dangerous out here on these streets or what? It can be. It can be dangerous. And people are just not in the right state of the mind, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, people just come out here with their anger and they use that um, embolishment to criticize other people because they're angry, because of the problems, and they, tend, they take it on other people. Yeah. And I'm just looking not to be, be one of those problems that they have, you know? So, what they had to do is before, before you were locked up and all that, did you have a job? What, what yeah, kind of, yeah, I had a job. Life? Man, my life was good because, hey, I, I have my kids, I have my family, something I, I really, really look forward on, look forward to. My baby mama, everybody, you know, I do, I do love. What kind of work were you doing? Uh, I was doing framing. Okay, construction. And time and rebar too, so anything I get my hands on, a job's a job. Hey, as long as a job is, hey, just keep yourself busy and that's it. Yeah, that's a good you trade know. to know though. Like the rebar and all that? Yes, it's, good a good, money, it's huh? a good trade, yes, yes you do. Yeah. Like, yeah, up to 25 to 30 bucks to 50 60 bucks an hour it depends what you're working at that's good you hope to get back into that or what yes i am gonna get back into those things okay it's looking my idea everything man hey man i'm looking forward to looking into those things let me tell you you see me now later on you're gonna see me doing a lot lot more better let me tell you i believe in god and i see that i only got god on my side you know grass is yours where are you staying at right now? Do you stay in a camping tent or what do you do? Oh man, I keep myself focused out here. I don't, I don't bake for nobody for nada, you know. Like where do you sleep? Oh man, I I try not to sleep out here. Okay. But sometimes I got no choice, you know. I, I live it out here, I live it tough, you know, but I do it for my people, I do it for us, because there's a lot of crazy and I put nah, I'm the one that's I had to be out there to calm him down. Got him on him. Kick back, you see? You know what I'm saying? That's it. How do you get your money right now to survive? Where do you eat? Oh, man. I... Oh, man. I... I it's nothing. I don't steal. I don't do none of that. You know what I mean? I, I take care. I do whatever I can. I clean yards, whatever I do. You know what I mean? I build fences. I do whatever. Concrete. I do everything. Do you go to the local shelters and give meals or what? Oh man, I don't. Cause I don't got time for me to be. Sometimes I, I try to go over there and I get lucky if I do get a meal. Yeah. You know I mean? Cause I show up all late. You know? So, but God, you know, like I said, man, just gotta. There's always somebody there to. How was your childhood growing up, bro? Was it a good childhood? Did you have mom and dad and all that? 
my mom, she tried to take care of me and she does good by herself. You know, she never, our dad was never there. You know, my mom does good by herself, you know. Okay. You grew up in the hood, obviously? Yes. Did you, did you ever get into the, the hood and all that? You ran with a gang, you told us all? Well, we're all family. Okay. Tell you the truth, hey. As I look at it, we're all familia. We're, we're brothers, man. We're, we're brothers and sisters, we're cousins. Because the way we see it, man, we help each other. Especially, I like when we get together and we're there just to help each other. And we and everybody knows that. But, you know, we're not there to break it down. We're there to rise you up. You know what I mean? And if you just give him a chance to just rise you up, a lot of people don't want to, ah. And if you just know how to kick back and you don't mind, you're going to see the opportunity and what they do for us. Man, I'm, I'm very thankful for that. Thank you. Yeah, I like the tacos right here. What you have? Oh, a, I did this for instead of horns, you have a, I was, a partner. I was Cardinal pissed Bird, off. Man. I was mad at man. <laughs> Everybody has problems, and let me tell you, man, I'm taking them off. Are you? Yeah, come on. I don't off? believe no devil. Come on, man. <laughs> but they're cardinal birds, though, huh? Yeah, yes. I barely I believe, noticed that. But I'm taking them off because yeah. it doesn't look good in front of my kids. I want my kids to be looking forward to that. How long ago did you do it? Oh, man. You the, nah, about 12, 12 years ago. 12 years ago. That's when we met. So you're like 30, 30 yeah. something years old. Me and my baby mama I split it up. I was pissed yeah. off at the world. And, and you, you got it in prison or out here? Out here because I was mad at the world. Let me tell you, man. Yeah. God knows. I was just so mad. Forgive me, my Lord, for being so stupid. Hey, what did your jefita say when she seen your tattoos right there? Oh, she wanted mom. to. Oh, don't come in the house. <laughs> <laughs> I know how uh, Mexican moms are. Get him at it. Oh, no, man. Let me tell you, my whole family is Christians. We're all Christians. Yeah. And let me see, that's one of the things I should never done. It kind of flipped everything all around like a coin. Boom. It's not good. Yeah, man. You gotta keep yourself straight. You gotta keep yourself wise. You gotta keep yourself. The way you were, way you trying to be something that you're not. I'm saying. To the young viewers that we have out there, like, what kind of advice would you give them if they think that running around with gangs is cool or running around in the streets and doing substances and stuff like that? Stay focused. Stay, stay, stay as a Christian, and believe in God and keep that straight and narrow path. Keep God tries to help you guys, and you guys don't want to take that 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 passage. Take that passage what God seems to offer. Let me tell you. He offers great things, and we all can learn that. And I should have done that. And this time, I'm taking that path. All right, man. Well, thank you for sharing your story. I really do appreciate it. Are you okay if I post it up on my YouTube channel? Yeah, you can. Yeah. And cool. just in case anybody wants to reach out to you with any sort of help or donations or a job offer or anything like that, do you have an email or anything that you want to share? I know I don't. Cause I don't. It was a long time when I used to have Facebook and everything. I don't got nothing. I just turned off everything because I had to think, I had to think twice, triple on the things I had to think about. And let me tell you, man, this time, I think I'm going to take y'all away. Straight, straight path. Right. Let me tell you, man. All right. Gracias. Mucho gusto. Yes.